how to make a good enough cup of coffee or the alternate title, how to make an exceedingly average, but often necessary cup of coffee. Step one, go to any neighborhood grocery store and find a box of the single serve coffee cups. They do need to be the kind of coffee cups that are suitable for use in a Keurig coffee maker. Step number two, you want to find your favorite mug in the kitchen cabinet, on the wall, wherever you keep that, on the dresser, by the TV, on the floor, and wash and dry if necessary for your good enough cup of coffee. Mine happens to be from the Preemptive Love Coalition. Step three, fill the mug with cold tap water from the kitchen sink, or if you are really fancy from a bottle of water or filtration system. The mug should be full to the amount of coffee that you wish to drink. On the top of the Keurig, flip up the lid on the rear water reservoir. There you would pour the entire amount of water from the mug into said reservoir. You do want to make sure that the water level is above the minimum of six ounces, but below the maximum of 12 ounces. In between there is the average coffee sweet spot. Now step five is return the mug to the front of the Keurig on the stand where it's ready to receive the coffee as it is dispersed. Not to the right too far, not to the left, but just in the middle so that the coffee can hit the target. Step six, you wanna turn the Keurig on by pushing the power button on the top of the machine. You know it is on when the power button is illuminated. Step seven, open the front lid on the top of the coffee maker. If there is an old coffee cup inside from yesterday's coffee, take it out and discard it in the trash just as your soul slips away from preparing this woeful coffee. Now, step eight, replace with a fresh cup of coffee and close the top lid. Again, in a perfect world, we would all be pulling out our French press and, and having a delightful time listening to music before work but so often I am scrambling to get out the door. And so this is often necessary, nothing wrong with it and will serve the purpose. So step eight, replace with fresh coffee cup and close the top lid. Step nine, to start the coffee brewing process, push the large silver button on top of the Keurig. The light will turn blue when activated. Engage. Step 10, wait for a few minutes as the Keurig works to heat up the water to the correct temperature coffee will then begin to pour from the Keurig into the mug placed on the stand. And like magic, ha, ah, you have your exceedingly average, but often necessary cup of coffee, your average cup of coffee that is steaming and beautiful to start the day. Step 11, enjoy your good enough cup of fresh, hot coffee and enjoy your day. Go forth and do good.